Be little bits that I played. Alright, I put this away. I'm glad you're here. We got a new case while you and Nick were out. Ready to put on the detective hat? Tell me more. Our client is a fisherman who lives on the edge of the Commonwealth. Kenji Nakano. Mr. Nakano didn't leave many details. Said he'd go over everything when you meet him. But if you want my guess, missing person case. Guy had a worried look a mile long. I'll go check it out. Thanks, Ellie. The Nakano residence is up in the northeast, near the coast. A small fishing house. He said that he and his wife will be waiting for you. Alrighty, let's get... Hey. Yes, ma'am? Wait there. No problem. Come on. I'll get it done. The love of crap. I want to get outdoor. Over to the Nakano residence. That whole area. Ada, no. Ada's to keep interest. Alrighty. There you are. You stuck on the wall. Or something. Okay. Uh, I need to go over here near the coastal cottage. Actually, it might actually be the coastal cottage. Or at least it's extremely close to it. This is a, one of my settlements that I need to upgrade or something, I guess. Such Ibadas. Uh, now, why is it directing me to bloody nowhere? Why, rats? What the shit just happened? Seven meters. Did the beacon change position? No, wrong button. It totally. Where, wait, where am I? I teleport here. I start running north, and I don't see me on this map. Is this a case of I'm actually outside of the normal area we were allowed to walk because the DLC has extended my range? In fact, this here. Looks like a normal. Yeah, it, it was like it was like 42 meters, and then it suddenly moved. So that's why we're actually well outside of the normal walking range limit. Fantastic! Now we're going down a cliff. Stop! Damn it! Come in! I know you're listening on the other end. Where is she? Where is my daughter? Kenji, please. You've been at this for hours. Stop. You need sleep. She's out there, Ray. What? Who 
by you. I'm sorry, but we don't have time for visitors or caravans or wherever you're from. I'm with Valentine's Detective Agency. You asked for help? Oh, thank God. You have to get working right away. So, what's the story with you and Nick? Ran with him on one of his cases a few years back, searching for some sort of lost heirloom. He needed a boat. Things didn't end well. Nick's client double-crossed us once we had what he was looking for. I still have some lead lodged into my hip. But we got out. And now, my daughter's missing, and there's only one detective agency I know of in the Commonwealth. I'm here to help. Tell me what happened. It's all thanks to this damn radio. My daughter Kasumi likes to fix things. The radio was her latest project. Until she made contact with some kidnapper who lured her away from us. Or well, maybe she left on her own. She's not a child anymore. Our daughter is 19. She knows how to survive, and she's capable. I... think maybe she left because she wanted her own life. No. She would have told us where she was going. She would have said something. I know my daughter is in danger. I can feel it. Find her, please. I'll find her. Don't you worry. Thank you. Her room is upstairs, if that helps. And if you had any more questions about her, just ask. Mr. Nakano. Do you have questions? About my daughter? Yes. Anything more you could tell me about Kasumi? The smallest detail could be important. I don't know what more to say. She's my little girl, and she doesn't know how dangerous this world is. I never should have let her grandfather teach her how to fix these machines. Her grandfather? He taught her how to fix the radio? Ever since she was old enough to walk, yes. Her grandfather had an ear for machines. Kasumi picked up the knack. He passed away recently. He used to scavenge the ruins in the south for parts. I kept telling him he was getting too old. Tell me more about this radio she was fixing. I've tried to get that damn thing to work over and over again, but there's nothing. I thought she just wanted to strip it for parts or build a toaster out of it or something, like she usually does. Someone made contact with her, and then they took her. God, what kind of twisted psychopath has my daughter? Why did your daughter really leave? Your wife said she left on her own, but... You said it was kidnappers? I know it was kidnappers. Kasumi is a smart girl, but she doesn't know how horrible people can be. Not like me and Rei. Why would she just leave her family with no explanation? Someone tricked her, got her to leave the safety of home. Every minute we aren't looking for my daughter, her life is in jeopardy. No more questions right now. Work quickly, detective. Well, he seems like a normal freaked out dad. Mrs. Nakano. I see about her. You have questions about my daughter. I'd like to know more about Kasumi. I'd shine a light on where she's gone. My daughter is strong, focused, careful. That's how I know she's still alive. All but right. why would she leave without telling us? Maybe we... No, never mind. I don't want to waste your time. Every detail is important, Mrs. Nakano. Don't hold back. It's just that we've been fighting a lot more. All of us. Ever since Kasumi's grandfather passed away, he was the only one that could really talk to her. Kenji and I don't understand machines, but those two could work together for hours. She started staying in her grandfather's boathouse late into the night. I thought she was just trying to cope with the loss, but now I wonder what she was up to. Tell me about this radio your daughter was working on. I remember Kasumi was very excited about it. I thought she was secretly trying to make contact with Diamond City or another settlement. We're pretty isolated out here. She only has us for company, and Kenji can be overprotective. You and your husband don't seem to agree about why your daughter left. We both want to find her. The world out there isn't a place where you want to be alone. But Kenji still sees her swaddled in diapers. 
He doesn't see a young woman with her own decisions to make. Maybe because it's more frightening. She wasn't tricked into leaving without telling us. That was her choice. She didn't want us to follow. Why? Nothing else right now. Alrighty then. Sue. You've already gotten a lead on the next place to search, and I didn't need to even search through her room. I'm guessing searching through her room is just for if I failed to convince them to tell me about the boot hoosh. So what is over here in the boot hoosh? A light. And a fucked up computer. And the bottle caps and bullets. Ooh. Fusion cell, dot tape, combination wrench, economy wonder glue. I suggest we take as much as we can carry. Thank you, Ada. I was planning on that. I like that these new robots are at least not giant jackals. Because pretty much auto saving. Pretty much all of my previous followers would constantly bitch whenever I took stuff. I wonder if I'll be able to fast travel all the way from here back to the main place and or not. Dude, ooh. Safe. Alright, let's see here. How does this go? Safe. Opening! Safe is opening. Military grade duct tape. Play. Project log? Um, myself. I never really thought about who or what I am, but... What? God. Where do I start? The radio. I was right about the range. I managed to get a signal, a strong signal, from up north. There's a group of people up there. They say they're all synth. Synthetic people. Made by the Institute. Holy crap, they're trying said. to build a place for their kind. Where... They can be themselves and be accepted for what they are alongside human beings. It sounds wonderful, but then they started asking about me and some questions came up. Questions I don't have answers to. I mean, I've always felt off, like I'm not really supposed to be here, but then there are things in my childhood I can't remember and... I've been having strange dreams. I... I'm going to go. To meet these synths, I... I have to know the truth about myself. They've told me to sail up north to a town called Far Harbor. I can make my way to them from there. Alrighty. We have the thingy. Have you, you finished your investigation? Did you find anything? Yes. I need to ask you an important question. Are you sure your daughter's human? What kind of question is that? Why are you asking? Your daughter made contact with a group of synths. She thinks she's one of them. What? That's... that's crazy. She's not a synth. She's our daughter. We raised her. I... I gave birth to her. She's flesh and blood, not a synthetic. It doesn't matter if your daughter is a synth, Mrs. Nakano. She's still a person who needs help. But my daughter isn't a synth. This is what I was afraid of. Someone twisting my daughter's mind. Did you find where Kasumi went, Detective? I think I know where Kasumi went. A place called Far Harbor? She went that far up north? God, that explains why she took the boat. You have to go after her. Please, take my other ship on the dock outside. My All right, design. good. It has we can finally start going. And it is built for distance. Hooray! I'll get to the bottom of this, Kenji. Thank you. Great, so this will be the opening. Payment, and we can't offer much. But here, please take it. I insist. For expenses, if nothing else. Bottle cap. Alright, so that's the pause for now.